Get to YouTube real quick. One sec, making a comment. Only. Oh, what's cracking, guys? I'm going to give you guys a view of the wall, unless you're on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, you got the full. Here, let me show you guys what's up. We got the full production setup on YouTube. Zoom ins on the fucking grinders. You don't want to be on Instagram, but we're here just to fucking let you guys know that it's going down on YouTube. So, where are we at? We're going to have to give you guys a view of the ceiling. <clears throat> what's cracking, YouTube? Oh, the yeah. day has come. I think we're live, right? Yeah, we're live. Oh, go. That's what's up. All right, bet. Uh, let a couple more people get on here, and then... Where, where does it say how many people are on here? Where are we at? Everybody, finally, oh, finally, no, finally. Oh, there we go. All right, we'll let it get to like 30, 40, and then we'll start diving into it. First of all, where's the weed we're using, actually, I just realized? What weed are we using? Uh, actually, it's in the office. <laughs> we'll, use some Z. we'll use some Z, why not? Okay. Thanks, I use some. Uh, right, I'll give him something. Well, let's see. Let's look at these comments, see what we got going on here. What up, what up, what up, guys? Um, looks like everybody's excited for this episode. I know you guys have been waiting a long time for it. Let's see here. Yes, this is the V2 flour mill against the Santa Cruz. Who is that? <laughs> What's cracking, seat sniffer? He said, I'm back, bitches. <laughs> Can't wait for the cotton candy tip. Yeah, uh, I just put it away. I just, I just had one out a couple seconds ago. I just put it away. Um, uh, cotton candy tip. Yeah, it's a little too small. I'm nervous. You're new. You're nervous for the Santa Cruz results because uh, you have one. Bro, well, I wouldn't be nervous. Like ten bucks. Yeah, I wouldn't be nervous. Jeez. Oh, that first bag open, you know. Is that your head stash? Sounded a little low. Fire Z is what that is. It sound a little low. Oh. All right, guys. Where are we at? 43? All right, we'll dive into it. So, some ground rules. Well, hold on. Let's make sure the mic's good first. How's it, how's it, how's it sounding now? I said, how's it feeling? How's it looking at <laughs> everything but sound? <laughs> how's it here? <laughs> um, what up, nap time? Hey. This motherfucker's always loose. Did you see? Look at this. The second comment from the, or the first comment up top. I'm back, bitches. Seat sniffer. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, seat sniffer. Uh, let's see. Sound a little low, cool in terms of flour. Some people are saying hi. Thank Give you all a release date for the V2. No, so we're going to try it first. We haven't tapped in with flour mills since receiving the version 2, so um, we will soon. But Mics are good. Good now. You moved mic. Okay, it was the mic location more than anything. Good to know. Why does this motherfucker always lose right here? Um, I think that's enough weed, right? Or right, we'll just measure out three eighths real quick. So. To get into it, 42, what we're doing today, we're doing three grinds. Where's the camera? Which one am I looking at here? <laughs> this, this one. That one. All right, three <laughs> There's like 20 yeah. fucking cameras up there, <laughs> to be fair. You know what I mean? Why are you acting brand new, Adam? Bro, I don't know. That's <laughs> usually oh, my yeah. camera. All right? You go for two weeks and you're acting brand new. Brand new. <laughs> Episode 36, he's like, where's the camera at? <laughs> uh, look, that's always my camera, okay? Yeah, this sure. is the new one uh, for, for the live. So anyways, what we're fucking doing, for those that just joined, we got a little rush right there. Um, we're going to have three doinks. We're going to have the coarse mill. There it is. The coarse mill, the fine mill, and the Santa Cruz shredder. That's going to be on the actual episode. So we're not going to be, um, smoking on the live today. What we're going to be doing on the live with you guys today is rolling it up and specifically doing the, the shavings test. We're also going to be doing the shavings test on the hemp. Some people seem to think hemp could maybe give off some shavings. I guess there's no reason to believe it wouldn't, so we're going to try that as well. We're going to do 50 twists, 50 shakes for each, 
and then uh, hit it with a little, where's the Q-tips? Got some Q-tips. Actually, we've got some Q-tips here, the heady swabs. Um, and we're going to weigh up some flour. But while we're doing it, we're going to kick fucking Paul to the other side of the room. He's not going to know which uh, pile of weed is from which grinder. I'm going to know that. I'm going to keep that between myself. If you don't trust us, fuck off. Don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> but for now, we're going to whip some weed and get an eighth of each. Yeah, we'll give you guys a peek of what's going to happen. Um, I'm just going to kind of step behind the cameras and turn myself the other way, and I'm going to be answering questions um, on the live while he's breaking down and getting everything ready. He'll have it in three broken up piles, and then I will turn around and come over here and roll it just so that way I don't have a biased opinion on what I think smokes better. If I don't know what it is, then I'm just going to give you my real opinion. So that's what we're doing here. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, like he... He's the old school, wants Santa Cruz Shredder to win, just to be real. We're exposing biases here. I'm biased. He has always fucked with Santa Cruz Shredder. <laughs> Myself, you know, I have absolutely no problems with Santa Cruz Shredder, except for that it's like kind of a pain in the ass, especially with production rolling, which I don't do. But just picking out the little chunks, making sure it's grinded even, and there's, no, there's nothing that's not grinded even now. We got that down, so we don't have that problem. Right. But, you know, uh, Bruno Rolls brought up a good point, is if you're having five people use grinders... Um, with a Santa Cruz shredder, they could come out different, and it's going to be a lot slower because you got it for one doink. We use two to three fucking grinders. Yeah, but the flour mill is just like, Meow, and then you're done. Um, and the consistency is always the same no matter what with a flour mill. Where that's not necessarily the case with Santa Cruz shredder if you don't know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, it's the best consistency you can get. I guess it's kind of like a flour mill's an automatic and a Santa Cruz shredder's a manual. Yeah. You got to know how to drive it, dude. Yeah, if you exactly. don't know how to drive it, then, you know, it's not going to give you the same results as everyone else. Exactly. Yeah, there can be chunks. So we're going to do our best to keep this shit non biased. I'm going to have to grab um, some of that Z before we leave. That shit fucking smells oh, yeah, so for good. Sure. Oh, no. I my jar on the right day. Let's go. <laughs> you brought the wrong jar, though, dude. <laughs> I'm just playing. You yeah, don't? That's on us, dude. We'll oh, get bro. You. Look at, hey, no, hey, dude, the first bro, thing the first, first thing all, he says is looks me dead in my eye with all sincerity and goes, no hat. Yeah, okay, well, we don't make dad hats. Ruben, all right? <laughs> Fuck, we look like making dad hats. Dad hat with no kids, huh? Yeah, true. Man. I'm the dad that doesn't wear dad hats, so I, I, I don't know. All right, we're gonna we're gonna kick Paul out of here. He's gonna read questions from across the room. Yep. Gotta get the mic over there so I can. Audio's on point. Perfect. A little earthy. You talking about the audio or what are we talking about? <laughs> What's a little earthy? <laughs> they, can, um, they can smell it. Let's All right, go. y'all. I'll be back. So. <clears throat> no peeking either, Paul. I'm no, gonna tell the wanna, people if you, if you, you do. Show them what I've got going on here. You can just so I, they can uh, they can kind of see I'll what show, I got going I'll on. I'll show the Instagram, and then the Instagram will be able to see. In the fucking, I'm I'm looking at the back of his head over here. I don't know YouTube if you can see my screen on some Inception shit, <laughs> but I'm looking at the back of his head over here. <clears throat> All right. If you're uh, on Instagram though, head over to YouTube. We got look, we got the fucking, the full production set up here. We got close ups. Of the weed with the doink cam, of the grinders, you're missing out if you're on Instagram. Well, you want people just hit the link in the bio. Go to YouTube okay. if you're a true YouTube. homie because YouTube. fuck Instagram. So cam one and cam two. We can't even go live on okay. our main page. Shit is whack. <clears throat> All right, um, Adam, are we, are, we, are we releasing this info yet? Uh, he says, "What are the details for New York 420?" Um, it is. I actually have the details. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a post about it soon. There's a flyer coming out, but yeah, it's gonna be April 18th. Um, co-hosted by us, Gotti, um, Green Dog, Bobby Trill, and Wizard Trees. Yeah. And uh, there's going to be some good shit there. Can't really talk about it. But stay tuned for the flag. Have you tried the raw hemp grinder? Just got one. I think it's comparable to the Santa Cruz Shredder. I have, have not, not um, but we'll definitely give it a shot. Anything that's not metal, I'll give it a shot. That's yeah. for sure. Explicit. Uh, um, what's, your, what's, what's y'all's cleaning method on the hemp? Puck and glass tips. I'll let Paul take that. Uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, n like 91 to 99 percent ISO. I do it a little bit differently with the tips. I'm a, like I said, I'm a weirdo and I have OCD. Um, I usually clean my tips like right when I'm done smoking. Like I immediately take the paper off. I'll walk over. I'll run alcohol through it. Run hot water through it. Whoop. Dry it off, and that's it. Um, now that's for the up. pucks, um, what I do is I separate them into two. And then I fill both sides up with rubbing alcohol, let them sit there for like 20 minutes, come back, put them together, 
grind it with the alcohol in there and then get anything like residual that's left. Um, sometimes I need to get a paper clip to like get things that are like stuck to the side off. Um, but yeah, do all that, let it dry, uh, rinse it with water. Obviously when I'm done, let it dry and that's it. All right, real quick. I almost started rolling this shit up and breaking it down before we even did the shaving test just cause I'm a stoner. It's all good. I don't um, need to be there for that. I'll just stay here with my back turned. So we're going to do 50 shakes on each one. First we're doing the, uh, flour mill. Here we go. And I'm going to do it a little bit slower because they brought up a good point. They said if you're, if you're grinding hella fucking fast, that's going to heat up the metal and can cause the metal to release shit and all sorts of stuff. And while that still doesn't make me super happy about a metal grinder, it is a fair point. I guess nobody's over here uh, you know, 50, 100 times in a row. Just <laughs> so we're going to go slightly slower to avoid the metal heating up. I don't feel any metal grinding at all. A Mac named Alan, you guys, or you guys tried to have hashed Skittles yet? It won Masters of Rosin. Is that the one that Bruno was just at, or no? Okay, Ma I, I, I'm not familiar with it. Give me a little bit more info, uh, a Mac named Alan. I got you. Appreciate you. All right, there's 50 there. We're gonna take a look. Um, Paul, can I use your phone to zoom in? Uh, I just hit the doink cam, so give oh, me a second. Yeah, good. I just hit oh, the never doink. Oh, mind. We got Rubens. Yeah, I gave you the this doink cam. This ain't an iPhone fucking 11 or nothing, is it? That's the 15 Pro Max. All right, cool. Of course, our videographer would have the fucking <laughs> sickest shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... We're, <laughs> yeah, don't swipe left. Um, okay, so upon first inspection, I see absolutely zero wear and tear on the metal. I see not a speck really of anything. Oh, hold on, what's this? No, that's cotton. Deal two times. Are you responding to a Mac named Alan saying that the real deal rosin won a couple awards with their Z at that Masters of Rosin? Is that what you're saying? That is that the Z he's talking about? Okay, visual inspection good. I don't fucking see anything at all yet. Next we got the Q-tip inspection. I see nothing on the Q. Well, actually. I do see a little something, hold on. I don't know, is that fucking we have a magnet that's what that's what we needed last time that we didn't was a I fucking was, magnet there was yeah. something hmm. come to canada for a tour type shit we got some fun yeah, we yeah we've heard some good things about canada i think it's definitely a stop that we're trying to make eventually um, um alicia king yes this yeah, is so the flour mill know, episode dude, if this is i don't think this doesn't look like metal specs get whatever it is off and let me see it hand it to ruben and he'll come hand it to me if you, if that's okay, Ruben, sorry, I'm not trying to make you a medium, um, medium middle. Dude, man I don't know. The more I fucking swipe off, the more I'm thinking it could be metal. I'm not sure. It it comes off like a gray, flaky, but it's not shiny like last time. <laughs> Legacy lacks. You ain't lying, bro. I got put on timeout. Look at that. Oh yeah, your phone, huh? No, no. I was gonna. Get Ru Ruben got all these hoes hitting him up, dude. He got. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. JJ John said, if you have a Triton scale, the lid has a magnet. You want me to oh, yeah, you ain't lying. Uh, well, fuck, but the magnet is hella deep in there. Let me see. Okay, well, I touched it to the magnet from the swab and nothing came off. I don't think this is metal shavings, to be fair. I mean, and it is tiny. It looks like a fuzz, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and say no metal shavings, mainly because... I don't even see any grooves in the metal. The last time we did this, we saw grooves in the metal, like we saw where the shavings came from. Not seeing anything? Not seeing anything like that, okay. no. Um, so I'm gonna move on. Let's get this smokeability test going. Yep. Cause that's Al what we're really here to see. Alan, thank you for the, uh, for the knowledge on that. Um, yeah, I haven't tried it, I don't think. And same for you, Dill, two times. Um, Masters of Rosin, I think it was the Ego Clash that they won first and second place, that's dope. 
Um, what's your guys' take on living organic soil versus other mediums? Uh, driver we are, car. yeah, yeah, driver, yeah, driver of the car is going to be the best. But also, I'll say this: we're not growers, so that's not something that we would sit here and give out info on like that. I mean, I've had rock wool absolutely shit on ninety percent of the living soil. I've had living soil absolutely shit on cocoa. I've had cocoa absolutely shit on both rock wool and living soil. I think people that get caught up in it's like a it's like being a sports fan, being a fan of a certain medium. It's like whatever the, I mean, unless you're a grower. As a consumer, it's like, bro, just hope that your grower that's your favorite has his medium dialed in. Yeah. Because you know, if he has his medium dialed in, you know. In, in terms of like what people believe health-wise or this and that, I think living soil may give off like more terps, but it's usually not as clean of smoke. Uh, but then again, I've had fucking some of the terp you should have ever had off rock wool. So it just really depends, dude, on what they can dial. Alicia King, yes, this is a new design from the last one. This is the Flour Mill 2.0 that they said to us, and this one is supposed to not have any metal shavings. We're going to go ahead and give this episode another go. Well, it didn't have metal shavings. This one so. didn't, right? Yep, Yeah. correct. Um, the creator of Hot Dabs Podcast, okay. Uh, let's see here. Wait till you try Fear of Booth Rockwell. Case closed after that. Yeah, like yeah, like we said, we've had some of the best weed ever. In our opinion, was came from Rockwell. So, um, real quick, if you guys are on the Instagram, head over to YouTube. We got the whole fucking production setup over here. Uh, uh, I don't Instagram. know the answer to that one. Has Flour Mill released the version two yet, or if no. not, have they said when they do when they're going no, to? No. So I don't know. Uh, can the Doink Cam see this, Ruben? I don't know. Does the stream see the doink cam? Yeah. Where am I at? So this You're is good right there. It's the prototype. Oh, damn. It's all fucking backwards. It's the prototype. So this will be released soon, I'm pretty sure. Um, and basically, guys, so whoever <laughs> wins this, you know, Paul's a little partial. I'm very impartial. I almost, the flour mill is so easy to use. I'm like, I'm partially rooting for flour mill here. Um, last time I didn't think it was going to have metal shavings i fucking literally was like all right hopefully flour mill smoke that it can kind of run a little bit more clog a little easier and just be a little bit more fragile on the roll um which could really be it's fucking like you know how they say it's way more gentle when it breaks the weed up or whatever when it mills it versus grinding it which we're gonna light it on fire anyway so i don't really care how gentle it is you know what i mean we're gonna literally roll it up and destroy it but um, I'm wondering if the shape of the fragments of plant material somehow cause it to maybe clog more or something. I don't know, but it's just hearsay, she say, because we haven't really smoked anything from flour mill because we want our actual first reactions to be on camera for the episode. So we have not touched this as a brand new grinder. We have not used it at all yet. <clears throat> What's the technique for getting all the stems out? Um, it's just, uh, honestly, it's being meticulous. It's, you know, knowing the plant and going through it and checking for every bottom of nug to make sure that there's no stems, um, you know, getting them out of there. Same thing with the flower or with the, the water leaves and, and leaves. Um, so yeah, it's just being meticulous. I don't think there's any specific technique for it. It's just being meticulous and making sure you get everything out. What is the best batch you guys have ever smoked? That one unicorn that you've been chasing ever since. Well, I'll say that there's probably three. Um, Adam can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I, I speak for him as well. I probably agree. I yeah. would say that it is the 2019 and eight, well, 2018 batches really? of, of yeah. RS11. First the, 2000, of the, the 2019 batches of Zope, and then there was a very special batch of Skittles that Adam and I got from a very small grower. And I think that those are them. Um, guys, I got to peel off over here. Uh, we can do that. Uh, he said, arms looking weak as fuck. Hit the gym, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, we got a $4.20 donation. Shout out, Sean. <laughs> 694 G Rider. Oh, guys. If Who? you're going to fucking throw us $4.20, make the fucking comment good. We'll throw it up on the screen. And we'll have a whole thing about it. <laughs> Who, so is, who is that, Sean? Apparently, I'm looking Sean. weak, is that, is that Sean fucking Sean Sean? Sean. <laughs> hey, so to answer your question, Sean, uh, the reason I'm looking weak is I'm trying to let myself go so that Greasy's less fucking intimidated oh, oh God. and he'll actually fight me. Sean, okay? look what you fucking just did, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all 
I don't use the metal Santa Cruz shredder desing, uh, so no, it doesn't come to the equa into the equation for me because I use the hemp one, so that's what we use. Um, Deep East Oakland Farms really cleans up, huh? Huh? Oh, seat sniffer? Yeah, I don't get that uh, one. Seat sniffer? <laughs> yeah, I don't get that one, bud. Uh, didn't even know you could super chat. That's fire. Yep. Um, my uncle made me watch a top 10 strain video, and they only spoke smoke about the smell and THC level. The tension between us was crazy. <laughs> hey, way to hold it down, bro. Uh, probably one of the most waited on episodes. I agree. I think you guys have all been waiting for this. Convinced that there isn't going to be a single live where there isn't greasy slander. Not if I can help it. <laughs> Let me tell, you. Let me tell you. Tell that fool boxes me. Stop dude. bullying greasy. I'm going to troll him for life, bro. Uh, usually I use a 12 millimeter tip, um, Cassius. Um, sometimes I'll use an 11, uh, 13s and above if we're doing events. It just kind of depends. Uh, so we're doing... Uh, Adam, is that an extra fine or a fine screen? Uh, I can't tell you which one I just used, but we're using extra fine and then their normal screen and then the Santa Cruz Shredder. So three grinds. We can't do four. It's fucking too many doinks to hold. You know what I'm saying? So we're going one extreme, the other extreme, and then, you know. I got to make sure these fucking weights are still on point here, though. Hold on. Who do you guys got? On the Jake Paul, and just what? I mean, dude, I'm not even. I'm not even supporting that, bro. I'm not gonna watch I'm that. I don't support that, that. I don't fucking none of that. Yeah. If Jake Paul doesn't beat any sixty year old dude, I just yeah. What a fucking. And it just shows the. Sh it just goes to show once again what a bitch he is, bro. He can't fight somebody unless they're already out of their male physical prime, and then he wants to fucking go ahead and challenge somebody and make himself seem like he's tough. Oh, no, he'll fight because people they have his age, uh, as long as they're Uber drivers that are like 1-0 and o or something. Or I'm about to fucking start driving an Uber then. <laughs> See here. It's just, just money. Yeah, straight up. Show the whole size in the camera when possible, please. We, so we got that. We're going to uh, do it on the main episode. Um, but we got whole size shots and everything. It'll be incorporated in the main episode. So yeah, seat sniffer D deep East Oakland is, um, Zope and RS 11. He is the dude that created that, but he's the breeder. He wasn't the grower. The actual dude that was growing these batches that we're talking about, um, was being grown in wizard trees facility. He had somebody helping him that was just fucking cranking out the craziest batches. Have you guys tried yeah. Dirty Guavas Dude, by Deep glass. East? We have a magnifying glass? No, no, I'm saying by Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. No, but joints, or no, but hey, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and, and let you know about something, though. The first time I ever heard Dirty Anything was from Deep East Oakland way back in the day with the Dirty Cookies. If you know, you know, that was one of the craziest batches of cookies I've ever had in my life. Um, but no, I've never tried Dirty Guava. Is that a Dirty Cookies cross? Uh, I don't just know. just used the word dirty again he, just because he likes it. No, he probably used the same thing that he crossed to the cookies that made it Dirty Cookies. Uh oh. Um, what papers would y'all recommend for the size 11 filter? Elements, baby. Elements, king size wide. Uh, I would, drop I would search harder and hit our website soon. Yeah, we are dropping the website soon. Uh, they're in the mail right now, the next little shipment, so it's coming. Uh, don't know about the Fidel strains. Mm, King says, "What elements shipped internationally?" Uh, yes, we do. yeah, we do do international shipping. Other than us, I I don't know. I haven't checked other anybody else's websites. Um, yep, elements over any other brand. Do you guys remember Panacea? I used to enjoy their flower a few years ago. Panacea, yeah. I mean, uh, I haven't had anything that I would say is like smoking from them or nothing. But I, you know, they got some good shit. Yeah, absolutely, bro. My head stash necessarily. Shout out to Deep East Oakland for making those legends. Absolutely. So apparently the dirty guava is supposed to have dirty cookies in it. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's dirty cookies and pink guava. Interesting. Started smoking good weed on a snob, but really all that smoke, moldy, homegrown, bongs, and changed water for three months. Yep, I'm with you on that, bro. Um, J Halo, if you're UK based, Green Head Shop has them. Dirty Guava is Dirty Cookies times Pink Guava. That's what's up. One of the biggest 
pains is going through rappers' Instagram stories and seeing them smoking sprayed weed, saying Ugh. it's fire. So I used to have a hashtag or that I haven't posted weed. in a long time. Oh, I'm boy. probably going to bring it back. Um, but I have a hashtag that I used to post that, I, that it says, I smoke better than your favorite rapper. Yeah, and it's not just a corny little thing. No, it's facts. Rappers like, really like smoke bring, like bring, bring, your rap, bring your rapper. If you think he smokes better, bring him. I've seen plenty of rappers smoke in person. Embarrassing, bro. Embarrassing. The snow cone wasn't my favorite, but Moon Valley grows some fire. The Slurpee was one of the best tasting Skittle Z crosses, and the watermelon Zonkers is good too. Huh. Never heard of any of those. Whatever happened to proper reserve delivery service? Uh, it was proper selections, and the rec market. Here's the thing. We can't fucking... There's not enough fire weed to keep a goddamn delivery service going, and we're not going to put non-fire weed on our, on our shit. So it's like we would just be operating for no fucking reason. And it's just like... Incon like the amount of shit you have to do to actually get a rec delivery going is insane, and you need like a lot of weed that you would vouch for. Thing is, most deliveries, they don't have to vouch for the shit they're smoking. So it's like they could just put whatever on the menu to keep the lights on, but we literally can't do that. We'd rather go out of business. So. Yo, shout out to the homie Furley Ghost. One of my childhood friends is in here. Yo, what's up, brother? He said, love the pod. Keep up the work. Good work. Keep up the good work. Have you tried gold raw papers yet? You're talking about the ethereals? Yeah, we just did a live on that. Uh, What's it, two days ago? Yeah, we need yeah. to try it with a smaller tip because we tried to do an 11 because we don't even keep 10s. I don't even think we have a 10. Um... And it just, it just, it was really hard to roll. It didn't make for the best doing. Somebody asked, was that the metal grinder squeaking like that? Uh, yes. Was it? Oh, I, so I fucking, I fucked around. I forgot to change the screen, by the way. I had to take it out. Forgot to change the fucking screen, like an idiot, uh, to the coarse grind. So I just grinded up one of the eighths for no fucking reason. Oh, beautiful. Uh, well, again. Ruben's getting a free doink today. Let's go. Yep. Let's see here. Uh, rappers have the biggest smoke ego. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you're not lying. Yeah, and the worst smoke. What's your opinion on the THCA flower? I don't know. I wouldn't know anything. Sounds weird. Yeah, it sounds weird. Sounds like sprayed. I'm good. Um, yeah, I see people in New York flexing that Sprinkles brand, which is totally sprayed packs. Yep. Just another, mm, just another crazy. world, you know, that we don't want to enter the atmosphere of. Yo, yo, what up, Furley? See your daughter out there killing it on the, uh... Horse riding, dude. That's what's up. UK rejects sprayed weed. So proud of us. It's just America. It's just New Americans York. Americans that seems... Right. That's not all of America. Yeah. Some of us have goddamn it. dignity. Okay. Yeah. I, I've never... Dude, I've never even seen a sprayed pack, dude. I've never seen it in Cali. Maybe it's because when you're not looking for a red car, you don't see red cars, but like... Yeah. I've never seen it. I'm gonna be honest, dude. I'm not a big. I'm not a fan of Ember Valley personally, but um, I don't know. I hear people rant and rave about it. Well, it's because they're they're priced reasonably. Yeah, you know? like, I don't. So I don't like their weed, dude. I've like had some good shit that's kind of harsh. That's nothing I put in my head stash, but I'll, I'd, I'd smoke it. But I never had like something that was smoking. But yes, nice please, ass people, though. Rappers and weed is a very ranged thing from, from my experience. I work in a studio and have seen a range of Graba spliffs with more Graba than weed and the Alien Labs representative. Huh, okay. Uh, New York loves the spray bags. <laughs> uh, bro. Oh, okay. Well, we got we got some controversy. Oh, we got. Bro, the greasy shit is old. Chill with it. Either find him. Hey, get the and, fuck off the live, bitch. be about it or shut up. <laughs> Just don't follow us. How about that? I'm going to keep talking right? shit. And then he said, shit's childish. Be about it. Don't speak about it. What's childish is calling somebody to a boxing match and then hiding. And what's childish is following us, talking he said, shit. sorry, but love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Hey, if you're going to follow us, just be prepared. I'm going to be talking shit, bro. So... Just get ready. Buckle up. So thoughts on the AJ Sour Diesel? Does that say AJ? Yeah. <clears throat> I forgot uh, what that is. I've heard about that, actually, though. I'm also Ember. not a fan of Ember Valley. It's good value for the price. Yeah, that's what Adam was saying. I bet it makes, across, makes it across the ocean. There's a sucker smoker born every day. <laughs> <laughs> Something here. 
All right, we're on the last grind. Don't you look over here, Paul. I'm not looking over anywhere. I want to see what, what what's his name said last. Because somebody responded to something, and I want to see what he said last and what the response was. I shot the GP7. And that's the last thing he said. Okay. Um, Canada doesn't rock with sprayed, but people always try to move PGR work packs as top shelf. Yeah, that's that's not going to fly around here. That's not going to change either. You guys tried Lime Sickle by Doji yet? Just dropped here in London. Looks interesting. I have I not. I heard of that, honestly. Nope, have not. New Yorkers won't admit they got played, so they pretend to like the spray packs. <laughs> that is some New York shit. I will say our biggest following is New York, though, but we got the good New Yorkers. Oh, There's God. some despair. Pickable New Yorkers, and then there's some real ones. Because New York and UK probably got the pickiest smokers <clears throat> amongst the top shelf. And then the rest of the UK is like, all right, I just need white ash. I don't even care about the taste. And then the rest of New York is just, you know, on some Neanderthal shit with the sprayed packs. Right. Uh, my boy Furley asked, have you featured the Joey Diaz brand laughing gas? You know what's funny is I was just watching a Joe Rogan podcast the other day and saw that. I didn't even know he had a weed brand. You know who Joey Diaz is, right, Adam? Yeah. The comedian. He has a weed brand? Yeah. Of course he's got a fucking yeah, weed brand. Yeah, apparently he's got a weed. Well, he's a fucking huge stoner. But yeah, apparently he has a weed brand called Laughing Gas. No, we haven't yet. Um, I don't even know how I would get a hold of that. Um, I still want to try. What's Rick Ross's brand? The fake uh, Rick Ross, not the real Rick Ross. Uh, Boof? Uh, something Just like that. <laughs> Synonym, I think. It's like Power or what the fuck is it? Or that's a TV show. Uh, okay, what does it say? Wow. What? He always fucking talks about that shit. Hey, Ruben, how do I get this thing to go away so I can read this comment? Yeah, scroll down. It's gonna sh oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, there we go. Okay, We okay. only feature brands, by the way, that people are talking about. Ooh, watch out, Paul. You got a camera on the back of your chair. Um, if call. people aren't talking about it, like real smokers that we kind of like see them smoking on shit. Like, because there's like people that think they're real smokers and they're smoking on booth talking about how fire it is. And then it's like, all right, do your thing. But then when we hear, there's like probably 20, 30 people out there that really smoke fire and understand what the fuck they're talking about. When we hear that community of people talking about shit, that's what we go try to find, pretty much. Shit that's making a lot of noise. All right, um, this is a good one. Um, I'm going to answer this one for you. Is Fig Farms any good? I'm about to be in SAC. Absolutely. If you're in SAC, you can find better weed. I'm not saying, I'm just saying from my experience, you can find way better weed in Sacramento. Um, he made the OG sour and is trying to hunt for the Fino again. He's dropping some of it in New York City. He'll still need to try Seed Junkie Jello shots. It's legit the same Fino as Doja's Giraffe Pussy too, but half the price and burns about the cleanest I've ever had. Huh, interesting. Interesting. We uh, have some Giraffe Pussy from Doja. Who do you guys want to see that go up against? Let me know. We got a jar UK of it. UK is Shout basically out having a pattern against that sprayed bullshit. Won't sell here facts. <clears throat> oh, you know what? My high ass, dude. We forgot to do the fucking shavings test on the uh, Santa Cruz shredder. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking grind up everything, and then we're gonna ISO it out, and then we're gonna. From now on, guys, I don't leave. The, I don't leave the booth. No, no you know, what, you know what we do, dude. <laughs> no, your ass would have forgot too, bro. We're the same. We're the same person. You got ten, years <laughs> right? Ago. But uh, fucking. We need we need Ruben to just direct these episodes, dude. I can't, you can't leave it up to me. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll run. I saw it, come back, and then check All right, let me try to catch up on these comments because we're getting kind of behind here. Uh, the THC weed is just chopped early in some type of freeze-dried method so that it doesn't convert from THC to normal TH or from THCA to normal THC. And they send it off to the testing company ASAP just so they can – okay, cool. So just so they can get the COA and be legal for all 50 states. But as soon as it hit the normal temps or gets hit with – the light, it immediately turns to normal THC, not THCA. Interesting. Fuck, dude. Thanks for the fucking knowledge. Um, I remember when Jungle Boys was taking off in 2018 to 2020, it was pretty boof. Uh, I would have to say still is. Um, PGR quads are a huge problem in Canada. That's no cap. Golf ball nugs with no structure or heads. That's fucking nuts, dude. Um, <laughs> it gets hit with lighter. <laughs> uh it's like $72 an eighth? The Joey Diaz, Diaz shit? I mean, I believe it. Fucking Seth Rogen dropped a goddamn booth brand, and it was like it was like $85 an eighth or something. That's fucking insanity. Um, I love Uncle Joey. Yeah, fuck, who doesn't, dude? He's fucking hilarious, dude. 
They have it up here in Sacramento, huh? Well, Holy shit, God. I'm going to have to go grab some of that then, uh, Furley. I'll go. Slavery's thank you for brand. that, bro. I'll go snatch some up and check it out. Uh, Flower Mill Next Gen. Pre-order drops early April. Uh, Delta 9 Cheech. She's like 90% of all nugs. La, la, la. Lime Sickle by Doja is dropped in Arizona. Pre-rolls now 8th dropping next month. Uh, C. Sniffer says, I think Joey Diaz got some decent people growing his stuff. Decent? We don't, talk, we, we don't like decent around here. <laughs> yeah, it's trash. <laughs> Being from New York, it's trash. Very rarely people are educated about right. weed and just try to get the absolute lowest price and still expect fire. I'm about to go clean this fucking shredder real quick. This wouldn't be able to identify its spray packs. Uh, you can go... Yeah, yeah, you can go back. Right. Yeah. Are you already have everything grinded up? Shit. Yeah. You have all three piles grinded up? All right. Everything grinded up? All right. Make them all look the same on the table. I mean, you're going to be able to tell which one the coarse one is, but other than that, it should be good. Be right back. Do we have ice up? Are you getting ball? Kind of weird being behind the cameras. I know, right? Do you want me to keep the common scroll down? Uh, let's see where we're at. Yeah, here I'm gonna steal Adam's seat. It makes it easy for me to read him. Let's just steal his seat real quick. All right. Okay. Mm, okay. Being from New York, trash out here. Yeah, yeah, I already read that one. The OG Bronson is supposed to have a brand in New York, huh? Shout out to fucking Action Bronson. I can't remember who though. Uh, I'm trying to see how Boofy Squint should be. Hey, I'm gonna keep it real. Is it 2020 or 2019? One of the Olympics that we judged um, for had Squint's weed in it. And dude, that shit was fucking... It was good verging on great. It was, it was, definitely, it was definitely some fire, dude. Um, these fools don't smoke top shelf, let alone could even reach it. <laughs> uh, you guys get any... I'm not even going to attempt to say that name, bro. Remy Kusu? I, yeah, I don't even know what that is. Doja's the most commercialized shit now compared with cookies. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I don't think that they're that commercialized. I'd say Connected and Alien Labs are way more commercialized than Doja is. Um, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, shit, if you can get your brand to that level, fuck, all power to you. Uh, scroll down a little bit, please, Ruben. Has white ash always been around or is it new? It's hard nowadays to get shit dialed in. I can just imagine how it was back then. Do you guys know if anyone had it dialed in back in the day? Oh, fuck, dude. That's, um, I think the farthest back I could go with like any knowledge or recollection of somebody actually having it dialed in would be when Cultivation to Consumption Jordan was growing for Connected originally in like the 2000, probably into 2016, 2017. Um, when the Smarties and, you know, the Guava and the 41 and the Biscotti and all that shit was big. That was my, my first real introduction to noticing. Um, and the way we noticed it was weird, too. We were smoking this Guava. I'll, I'll never forget it. We were smoking this Guava. And you know how, like, if you're in a sesh with homies and shit and you guys are all lit, you guys have been smoking doinks and you light one up and, you know, somebody gets to talking and next thing you know, you look over and you're like, pass it and the joint's out and you have to relight it. Somebody had been talking for like five minutes or something like that. And uh, we looked down to pass it and the shit was just still barreling smoke. And we were like, dude, it's still smoking. Like, what the fuck? And then we started using the term like that shit's smoking. And we just started noticing the correlation with white ash. So beyond that, I don't know how far back that could go. Um First experience with white ash, how far back does it go? How long have people had it dialed in? All that, all that good stuff. Um, let me get out of your seat, bro. I just, it was easier for me to read the comments yeah, while you were gone. Okay, um, no love for real flower. Have you guys tried toad venom? No, I ha you haven't either, right? You have, when so you were in LA? Tried, so, I tried the fucking uh, soil version. That was not smoking, but then I heard that the rock wool, or not the rock wool, the cocoa version was smoking from somebody that I trust their opinion on smoke. And he sent me a video of it smoking, saying it was smoking. So I just think that's hella funny. Same producer and 
cocoa is way out smoking the living soil. So there's interesting. For the, for the yeah, there's your, yeah, there's your medium thing. Yeah. Um, have you tried Brilliant Cut Grinder for superior, th no. far superior than Flour Mill in my opinion? We don't fuck with any three piece grinder. Oh, it's a three piece. Ever. Gotcha. Smoking white ash and everything. Yes. If you're talking about the guava, yes, 100% smoking white ash. That shit was bone white back in the day. Put it this way. I was dis I was distributing for Connected and Alien Labs back then. And um, this this particular pack that we got, I didn't even let it hit the streets. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Jordan was the originator of the white ash thing. Yeah, that's what I just told him. Yeah, yeah that's, that was the whole conversation that I just Anybody had. Anybody that don't know that, late to the game, dude. Yeah, and, like, and look, it was burning white ash. And not only that, like... It was just, flavor. yeah, the flavor, you just, yeah, it was so fucking fire, we didn't sell it. We kept it. We literally fucking kept it for ourselves for smoke. Oh, it's kicking your water bottle over. Speaking of which, Ruben, can I see mine, please? Should be right by your foot. All right, so now? now we got the spin test. Appreciate you. The shavings test on the fucking Santa Cruz Shredder. We're all fucking good here. Mic check. We're all fucking good here. Uh, okay, let me see the doink cam while we're doing this. <clears throat> I think I already know what's nice, new, and clean. I just fucking ruined my fingers with some ISO, so um, so that's fucked. I should have brought the gloves. But here's the fucking. We'll do the uh, the fifty shakes and the swab. I think I can. Uh... I'm not going to say what my opinion is, but I think I already know which is which just by looking at it, not even rolling it or smoking it yet. All right. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. There uh, goes 50. See. Well, actually, we're about to swap it right now, so we'll hold on just a sec. Yeah, handle. Um, so we've done 50. BMF is Rick Ross's, okay. Uh, using this to decide which grinder to buy. There you go. So, so far, Gallo shouts out. Gallo. not a single speck of anything. I'm going to use the, the sharp. I'm trying to get it on where all the surfaces touch. Jello shots and Jello marker are fire, apparently. See uh, Junkie. Ah, uh, yo. The... <laughs> RJ was cracking, bro. He said, he says, yo, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. What did I miss? Uh -huh. <laughs> just, uh, you just miss <laughs> that we're good. We're going to have a smokeability test. So yeah. no fucking shavings on the flour mill this time. No shavings on the Santa Cruz shredder. We're good to go, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, where to get great weed in Sacramento? Where? I mean, are you talking about for a dispensary? I think they're talking about a dispensary. I mean, I would say main stage I would sack. say main stage is the best hope, but again, having a recreational store and trying to keep the entire menu as fire is tough, dude. Yeah. It's tough. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'd probably say main stage. There's a, yeah, if you're looking rec, I'd say main stage. There's a lot of people out here, though, with fire, if you know anybody. Yeah. Um, let's see here. House plant is dog shit. Seth Rogen had 100%. canopy growth growing the flower here in Canada, and they have an absolute king of hay terps. <laughs> All right. You're good? You're good to start rolling. I'm good to start rolling. All right, guys. Um, Adam's going to take over. So just clean up this little disaster over here. Where we at? Comments? Uh, yeah, so the best weed in Santa Cruz, let's see. Oh, High Tolerance, that's the Rick Ross brand. Yeah, we're going to have to fucking try some of that because he's talking a lot of shit like it's out smoking everything. Using terminology having to do with smoke, too, not just saying it's, like, prettier and smells better like most fucking rappers talk about. Or, like, how high you there get is one, shit. There is one rapper I know that has a brand that I've seen him promoting his brand, but not calling it the best thing ever. He's just kind of... I've only actually seen him, like, giving it out to other rappers and shit. But uh, Method Man, I think it's called Takao. He has, like, these boxes that he drops, like, to all, like, other rappers and stuff like that that he gives out. It's got all kinds of shit in it. Um, if anybody's ever smoked that or has any knowledge or insight on that, hook us up. Oh, we're smoking. Oh, just not on the live. Uh, see, will you guys upload 
in-depth rolling video. We have one. Uh, I mean, we can we we do have another one that we shot that we haven't edited yet, but uh, we'll upload that to the Patreon, and then we have one pinned to the top of our page. That's just a quick run through. Stash grinder did a metal test and turp test in the grinder. I don't like stash grinder because it has the fucking three compartments. Anything with three compartments, the holes at the bottom let chunks of weed fall through that are too big that shouldn't fall through. Um, so the only three compartment grinder I would ever fuck with is flour mill if it passes the smoke test. Um, Modesto has the cheapest legal weed prices and taxes in CA. That's a conversation for somebody else's boo fast podcast. We don't care about prices here, just how it's smoking. Uh, you guys going to try the UVZ by up the hill? I'll try whatever by up the hill after last time. A little bit of plantiness flavor from up the hill last time, but... I don't give a fuck. Everything else fucking, was Yeah, I'll take that little bit of pointiness point. for what fucking what that experience was, dude. Have you tried you know was good cranberry skittles? No. Have not. Ross is by high tolerance, right? I would say high tolerance is by Ross. Yeah. I believe, yes. Rick Ross strain is called Collins Avenue by High Tolerance. Okay. That sounds that one sounds right. Collins Ave. That okay. sounds right. I've heard that. It's got a scroll. Uh, yeah, up to Blood, Sweat, and Tears Farms. Sea Junkie's not bad for the price point, but not great smoke. Um, but much better than Emerald Valley and other stuff at the price point. Okay. Different plants take better to different mediums. Do not get that yet. Yep. I'd agree with that. A lot of factors. You can't say one medium is the best, period. Like, I've the best, the best Z I've had has been out of living soil. Um... Fuck three piece, agree. And like I said, I wasn't trying to hate about the greasy shit. Love you boys. Craig, much love. And I appreciate your comment, but I will continue to talk shit about greasy <laughs> forever, bro. At this point, it's just satire. I mean, I'm just trolling him. You know, we're just having fun with it. You can't call me out to a boxing match, threaten everybody's family, expect you to let you off the hook. You know, what you're I mean? gonna have to get a judge to do yeah. Adam like they did Takashi Six Nine, where there's like fucking a legal thing that says no trolling or fucking. No yeah, yeah. Maybe if I was in Canada, <laughs> if I was in Canada, you guys could shut me up for hate speech because Canadians don't have no fucking freedom. But not, not here, sir. Wait a uh, minute, they they do that shit in Canada? Yeah, Trudeau just passed some shit that like he legit, like you can go to jail for certain hate speech and shit. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he's that's he's, fucking he's nutty, a straight dude. dictator. Uh, just curious how can, like like certain podcasts like the podcasts have to get approved by the government and shit now. Oh, okay. that's fucking Bro, it's, wild. It's dude. crazy. So I'll be gladly expressing our ability to talk <laughs> shit openly and freely for the rest of my time here on the internet. Uh, let's talk about. Oh, let's see. Just curious how come you guys like flour mill but no other three piece grinder? Isn't flour mill technically a three piece? Good question. Yeah. So um, the flour mill has these tiny holes that doesn't let chunks of weed fall through prematurely before it's ground to the right size. Whereas other three piece grinders to use them, I can use them if I'm in a pinch and I'm fucked, but I have to turn them upside down and grind it really fine before anything falls through those big ass gaping holes. If the holes were smaller, I'd be fine, but the holes are too big and brilliant stash Tahoe. Um, all the grinders I've seen, the holes are too big. Uh, and also brilliant cut grinder. Like, I don't know. I looked at it. It's fucking like $90 or something. Right. And it's like no fucking different than any other three piece grind. Unless I'm tripping. I don't see a difference between brilliant and anything else. Um, see, let's talk about how Ryan recently said fear of Boof in Michigan might be the best representation of Doja in the market right now. Yeah. I've been hearing a lot of good shit about specifically fear of Boof in Michigan apparently is put into shame all the other you cultivators. Know what this is what, right? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to set him down as I'm done with him. Uh, let's see. Yeah, of course you think all Doja is blowing. Ash with real genetics, that taste, breakdown, ash, lung expansion, potency, etc. Doja is commercializing in mass. I will say there's a lot of commercial batches of Doja, but Doja does know what good weed is. And a lot of his batches are fucking absolutely verified smoking for sure. Um, does he yeah. let some shit slip through the cracks while he's trying to scale across the whole fucking world? For sure. But does he generally put out some heat? Yes. I know Ryan personally, and I will tell you, he knows, absolutely knows what good weed is. 150%. Like, he absolutely knows what good weed is. 150%. Sorry, guys. I'm over here rolling. I moved my mic away. Um, but yeah. He says most of their flour is spray PGRs. Nah, we're going to call bullshit yeah, on Yeah, I call bullshit. Not true at all. That's, that's absolute fuckery. 
no way, shape, or form is any of Doge's weed sprayed. That's for so sure. So now what I would do is I, I would qu- I would question the vi- the validity of where you're getting this from and whether or not it's real Doge. Yeah, go, if that's go what call you're saying. Out whoever told you. Yeah, that. because I, that's uh, not true, dude. PGRs. People don't even know what PGRs are. It's literally a pr- plant growth regulator. So like, there's natural PGRs. There's PGRs that are allowed. There's PGRs that aren't fucked up. Like, depends what you're talking about. Almost everybody uses a PGR of some sort. It's just there's bad PGRs and good PGRs. So that's a complex conversation, too. So be careful what type of claims you're making about people's shit, especially with the spray, because fucking Doja's not spraying anything. No, for you're sure not. You're getting absolutely worked by your plug if you think Doja's spraying shit. Uh, middle one doesn't look grinded much. That's the coarse grind. Yeah, we could just we could just say it. That's no secret. Can I, can, can I make, a, can I make a, a guess on what I think everything is, and then you can tell me when we're done? Sure. I'm not going to make any facial expressions or look at I'm you. I'm not at even going to look at you. All right, so my guess is that this one that I'm rolling right now, which would be the new green tip, is going to be the fine grind from the flour mill. I'm guessing the first one that I rolled being the purple tip is the Santa Cruz Shredder, and this is the coarse grind. That's- How is Doja's Sure Banger 22 compared to other brands, Banger? I don't know. I haven't tried Banger from uh, Doja. Nope, but I will say I still to this day and will always say this, Matt, you know, the, the, the guy that, originated it i've had the best batches of banger off of him and yeah. i've had banger from all kinds of other people north bay gardens had a really fire batch they had banger. a really good yeah, one too yeah that was actually better than the current batch of banger from matt at that, that was point. when we were in san francisco i remember but that. not to say another batch wouldn't have been better than that it's yeah. just the side by side that we had yeah at that if, point. if you guys want banger and bangers your thing dude go to norcal gardens but yeah the middle one is the coarse grind that's why it doesn't look grinded much which is why we've never been about flour mill because coarser grinds produce a worse smoke every single time but then they came out with the fine grind, so we're gonna see what's up with that. We've never had a fine grind that we've rolled, only that other people have rolled. Um, main stage for sack, I'd say, yup. Is med any good in Cali? Like, what do you mean, like the like weed? Like med men? Uh, med men, no. Wait, 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 what was the question? Uh, is med any good in Cali? Explain on what you're, uh, or expand on what you're asking, Hunter. Uh, why did FM test have shavings the first time? Because the metal's grinding on the metal. They changed it this time. The metal's not grinding on the metal. Um, so no shavings. Yeah. James says Perfect Union. Yeah. Perfect Union's got some some hits here and there. It's not quite as wide of a... Uh, let's scroll down. Yeah, and depending on what Perfect Union you go to, you may be able to smell this Z-burning. Spray pack for the young boys in New York. Yeah, for sure. Never use flour mill, but for me, Santa Cruz, two pieces, the best grinder, excellent bang for the buck. Yeah, price is, just, you know, when it's not broken, you don't fix it, thing. So we've always been using the Santa Cruz shredder. We always get the perfect texture from it when you know how to use it. Uh, but it's not as good for commercial production rolling speed wise, consistency of the flour wise, etc. But in just rolling a perfect artisanal doink, that's what we've known to smoke well. Why did you cut the paper? It just makes it a little easier for him to roll. Yeah, I don't I don't use the entire paper unless I'm rolling like five grams or more. Those papers are perfect width-wise, but they're a little bit long unless I'm filling it with fl- flour. Like, what's the point? I'm going to end up twisting it and burning it off at the end anyway. So it just makes it a little easier. What would be the best smoking methods for crack in my joint? I'd say just little bombs of crack. Not, not You don't want to get a crack worm, not but good. just little rocks evenly spaced out, you know, so that... Like enough space where by the time this crack rock fully vaporizes and dissipates, the next one's just beginning. All right, you know? we're gonna let the OG from the 80s take the crack question. All right, so uh, <laughs> what you're gonna do is you're gonna get two hot knives. <laughs> and you're gonna put well, them on your stove. Joint. I know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. You're gonna take you're gonna take the weed. You're gonna put a little rock and then roll the put the rock in the weed. Set it down. You're gonna take knife rips with it, bro. Blast off, <laughs> free base. Yeah, if you don't got time for a joint. That's the next best option. <laughs> Today I'm smoking on Glitter Bomb by Ember Valley. Oh, I thought you were going to go into the spray, like that blue gr- glitter shit. It's pretty much just like the Lava Cakes from 2018 to 21. Subjectively top three favorites for me. Subjectively smoking high eights, maybe almost nine. Okay, I've never liked Lava Cake. I've always put it in the Purple Punch category of empty styrofoam smoke, but fuck it, maybe I didn't get the right batches. And then just for reference, I mean, that's what I cut off of the paper. It's... Like just a little. In, it's like an inch, if that. Um, let's see. UFZ is LCZ. We still got to try the LCZ from Life Sauce. Hey, we might be getting a little fucking collab with Life Sauce coming soon. Stay tuned. Every once in a while, a grower just put some shit out where we're just like, all right, dude. <laughs> What's going on? 
Got it from Good Pizza Party. Fire turd vaping, 9.5 out of 10. Smoking, almost 9. Okay, interesting. What are you talking about? Uh, Glitter Bomb by... Uh, what the fuck was it? Ember Valley. Okay. But, I don't know. Yeah, we need to get a hold of that. I haven't had anything from Ember Valley, like, touching, you know, 7.5. Even Dude, so I'd be like curious. like rolling nugs. Yeah, it's... Fucking crazy. We'll have another example of course grind for you guys. Uh, best way to avoid losing terps while smoking, keeping the cherry temperature low, big breaks in between hits. The bigger the doink, the fucking lower the cherry temperature. There's some people online talking absolute fucking nonsense, saying the smaller the joint, the better the flavor. Fuck no. Who said that? Fuck no. Uh, multiple people. One of the more recent, like, well-known people, Adventures of Jet Jet. Much love and respect, Adventures of Jet Jet. That is the wildest shit I've ever heard. When you have a tiny little joint, that cherry fucking fires up so quick and can overheat so fast. It also moves way faster down the doink. When you have more weed in your joint, in your doink, um, the cherry can avoid those high-ass temperature spikes that are going to overheat all the terps and shit in your flower. Uh, when you have a little, like a one gram joint, you could barely hit it and it's fucking ripping that cherry down your joint, fucking everything up. Plus, I mean, unless you just need a quick joint to smoke, you put a fucking 10 millimeter, the same length as a 12 millimeter rolled together, you're going to get way more flavor and for way longer. Oh shit, what happened to the live? We good? Okay. Way more flavor and for way longer. So, like we just did this the other day, actually while we were smoking the... Um, the ethereal side by side with the element. Yep. Same weed, same size tip, but since the ethereal had to be a little smaller, it pooped out so much faster yep. than the bigger doink. So, I mean, I understand if you can't finish your doinks, I get that, but tolerance aside, just getting the most flavor and the best experience out of a doink, hands down, not fucking debatable at all, 100% of the time, a bigger doink is better for flavor. I'll fucking... Bring whoever that disagrees on. We'll, we'll debate that shit with two doings live. Um, All right, so yeah. King size wide papers is what we're using. <laughs> um, not the regulars. Sea Junkies, a hit or miss, but their permanent paradise was smoking way above its price. For those that just got on, by the way, um, we did the shavings test earlier if you missed it. Nothing had shavings. We're good to fucking go. Um, now we're on to the smokeability test that we were going for in the first place last time. Pretty decent flower here in Colorado. I would agree with that. Pretty decent. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't quite say good. I've never heard anything good about Colorado's weed game other than the prices of pounds are like $50 or some shit. That's the only thing I've heard about Colorado's weed game. Budget packs. Um, much respect sure. to our Colorado homies. I know you guys didn't choose the weed that's in the state. Um, proper Z1 over here in Spain. Fucking... Bruno, way to fucking yeah, roll it. shout out Bruno. And I will say, rolled with a flour mill, right? And I will say also, for those doubting the Z, rolled with smalls. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, it was it was Z smalls. Those were smalls. Those are Cs, like Z's, little little like smalls. Little, little pebble buds. Um, so, let's see, we need the proper Z logo on the hat. Yeah, that'd be a sick hat, actually. Yeah, do you have the... Uh, what are we looking for? This is the Santa Cruz Shredder. Um, we're at the... Huh? I'm going to roll Ruben a doink with what's left. Let's see, Lumpies all day. I haven't had anything from Lumpies since, like, what, 2017 that smoked. Everything smoked pretty bad, pretty harsh. Uh, I'm talking, like, sparks flying yeah. out of the cherry and before shit. He, uh, before his spot got raided, um, he was producing fire. The Cherry Jane and, like, the apple fritters yeah. of the, like, when they first came nice out. Nice people and shit, of course. Oh, yeah. All respect. Yeah, dope crew, dude. Shout out to them. Fucking, you know, Lumpy and fucking... Yeah, I Man just haven't had weed that smokes. Seven and all those guys, yeah. Just objectively, I mean, they're. I love the competition they put on. And shit, it was it was sick. Just never had any weed that wasn't harsh. They're starting to get the white ash thing down, but it comes with like this hot mineral vibe to it. Mm -hmm. So it's just tough to tough to get down with. Thoughts on TGA subcool genetics? No idea. You? Screw Nick. That is disrespectful. What are we talking about? Uh, oh, when they hit. I, you would put Sea Junkie up against Blueprint. Yeah, I mean, shit. I've had some Sea Junkie batches that were smoking fucking around some Blueprint batches. You know what I mean? Hey, Ruben, you want to grab me a tip out down there so I can roll this for you? Um, let's scroll down to Legacy Lacks. Right down there comment. in the drawer. 
temporary tips? Yeah. It's one that I don't care if you take. The best part of the new Trudeau law is that you can be arrested or questioned if... Oh, wait, hold on. we got to scroll down. Uh, no, there should be a better Here, I'll get it for you. That. Yeah, there should be a better one than that. Just any tip. I don't think we have uh, any... I mean, we got this. I don't think we have tips like that down there. Um, see, best part of the new Trudeau law is that you can be arrested, questioned if they think you're going to say something hateful in the future. I'm trying dude, to get out of here. That's fucking insane. That's the most Canadian politically correct shit I ever heard, dude. To be honest. Did um, you, were you thinking about saying something? Who? All right, you're going to jail. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you were asking me that question. Um, that's nuts, dude. Said, nah, it's true though. Screw Nick, I gotta agree with you. Um, on, I would say, I would say, Sea Junkies best best batch versus Blueprint's best batch. No I would way. say Blueprint wins. Yeah, no way. But there's some batches from Blueprint that would stack up to the better batches of yeah. of uh, Sea Junkie. I've had great batches of of Sea Junkie, to be fair. Um, let's see, let's see, Adam, if you can roll a leaf, would you ever do Flower Mill versus Santa Cruz Shredder, Chorus versus Fine Medium on a leaf? Would you love to see the myth is true of Chunky Weed for Blunts is better? Uh, nah, to be honest, I, I wouldn't, I'll, I'll, I'm a sucker for smoking a wood if it's around me or a, a leaf if it's, if it's around me, but I'm not going to go ahead and take go out of my way <laughs> production time on it, dude. That's, that's another world. Somebody's got to start the, the proper fucking proper leafs page and, and let us know. Um, I'm trying to tell you guys if you're a booth all day, it's sprayed PGR. If you were in the UK, they're getting bopped over the head for fake doja. Yeah. So, I mean, you might be getting fake doja and getting bopped but just keep yeah, in that's mind what, yeah, that's you're not supposed to admit that out loud you know what i mean you got to keep if you if you got some spray doja then you got bopped and you got to just keep that on and the also low. if you got some spray doja you shouldn't be saying that his packs are sprayed because those, those don't come from him yeah anyone that hates on doja and calls them billboard turps is not fried off their ass but a hater for sure um yeah and look i mean i get it i mean because you know shit slips through the cracks that's still top price and not really smoking so i understand people are pissed and shit but he doesn't spray he does spray, that's for sure. Yeah, that's just a big accusation to make. Doja has some of the best stuff out there. Tripping, I'd agree. Anyone who hate, oh, wait, no, we're backwards. Kelp extract is a PGR. The bad ones are the bubble. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's the organic shit that's like a PGR. So it's like, you got to be careful what you're calling PGRs. You guys should really look at a brilliant cut grinders. <laughs> he's um, going to beat that one up. They huh? have different center plates for different grind levels, and it's designed pretty well compared to most three pieces. Yeah, I just, I mean, I seen them, bro. They got big holes for the weed to fall through. So until I see smaller holes, I'm not sold. Uh, Sherbinsky's, they're just white labeling shit. Uh, they were white labeling King's Garden for a while for their uh, rec brand. Not down, can't get down with it. Uh, so you, respect so and shit for you, everything you you're not gonna smoke game, it till later, right? Yeah. So, so, so try Skittles from North Bay Gardens. Not to mistake it with NorCal Gardens. North What's Bay Gardens that? got some heat. To go box. Doja is not some of the best. There is not 10 plus strains that are truly smoking, but he keeps strains around that people buy, fuck with, but he might know is an A1. Um, yeah, I mean, he's one of the best curators. Obviously, he doesn't grow, but I'd say he's one of the best curators, like from what I've tried, at least, uh, in my experiences. Yeah, no worries. Um, let's see, he's probably not from the USA. He's asking if medicals is good in Cali and recreational. They're the same. Yeah, a lot of the medical stuff is just backdoor packs from Rec Grows that people think is small batches and shit. So, um, I we stopped looking at like small batch, like oh it's big batch, so it can't be fire. We've had some of those fire shit ever from a 400 light grow. We've had boof from people's closets that were supposed to have fire, so it just you know just depends. Driver, not the car or the size of the car. Um. I heard that giraffe pussy was some fire from Doja. We got a jar of it. We're going to try. Can we scroll down a little bit past D's nugs? <laughs> right there. The only difference in Cali is 9%. Okay, we're talking about money. Appreciate that deal. Okay, crack rock geometry. We got you guys. We'll get a little reel on that soon. Uh, but make sure the crack is smoking. You know what I mean? Uh, I prefer a crack worm personally. I mean, to each their own. Uh, they do not sell the same products. Recommend. All right, let's scroll down again. I'm trying to blaze through these real quick before we get going here. Not a crack worm. I was thinking about dabbing my homie out with some crack in his puffco. I swear up and down to him, it's raw garden. <laughs> Wouldn't be able to tell the difference, dude. Um, NorCal Gardens is in Santa Rosa. 
why are some strains so dead in general? Because they're so fucking fire that everybody tries to do it. Everybody does it wrong. And then things like candy or Skittles or OG or whatever gets a bad reputation because a bunch of people are growing it hella shitty. Um, and then people think that that strain sucks when that strain doesn't suck. It's everybody growing it. Yeah, get a napkin and a paper plate. Paul's going to have people ruining their mom's butter knives. Yep. Yep. They got a video of NorCal's Surebanger already. I don't know if it's on YouTube. It is on YouTube. And let's get another scroll when you're done, Ruben. Thanks, sir. Uh, let's get another scroll. All right, this is a very fruity batch, extremely fruity. Okay, promise Ember Valley is not worth the lung power. <laughs> 12 over 10 millimeter all day. I would agree, Bruno, 100%. Hey, Bruno. Where can I get real element paper in sack? To be honest, I don't know. I can't vouch for spots, but we're going to have it on our website in about four or five days. Um... Maine, however, wow, I was truly only impressed by Maine, AZ, and Michigan so far with their grows. I would say I'm only, I've only heard impressive things from AZ and Michigan. I haven't heard anything really impressive from too many people about Maine yet. A couple people here and there that I don't know too well, so I can't, like, for sure trust it because I haven't seen other shit they thought was fire or I have seen shit that they thought was fire, and I'm like, yo. Um, I think Washington State and Michigan might be next, okay. Ain't allowed in Canada anyway, fuck them. Oh, we got Megan Rose back. <clears throat> Fuck them. Fuck Canada, too. <laughs> Man, cannabis looks awesome. No metal. No metal. No shavings of any type on either grinder. What glass tip size? Extendo. I regularly looking to get my first one. So we do have Extendos dropping, not on this drop, but on the following drop. Somewhere right around the first of the month, we got Extendos dropping. Stay tuned. Okay. Lumpy was fire in 2020. I missed those batches. Missed. Uh... I will second Capital Haze, Phenomenal Terps. I tried Capital Haze, I don't know. I wasn't a fan, it was really smoky. I had some Haze Terps in it, but it was really smoky. You guy, or you know a guy in Maine named Maine Coon? He's a grower out there. Nope, let's get another scroll. We're gonna get, are we down to the bottom? No. Oh, a lot? A lot. Fuck, all right, I'm gonna start picking and choosing. Toad Venom, hype or smoking, depends on the batch, cocoa or living soil. I think the living soil was hype, and I've heard the cocoa was smoking, but I haven't tried it myself. We're gonna try to get it on here. Maybe a little down the line. We'd love for you guys to do a UFC MMA podcast. Fuck, dude, if we got time. We're trying to fit in time to get a dab uh, PSL going. The PHL, the proper hash league. That's coming soon. Yep. You heard it here first. Uh, let me give you a heads up. Do not fuck with Maine Coon. Oh, little homie has zero brain cells. Okay, we got politics here. If people only smoke Michigan badges, Doge is usually top five. Best smoke consistently. Can we talk about how your wife gapped you in the AMG? All right, look. He did. She did. Hey, She I, did not gap me, all right? She I was just, like... She was right here with it. I just think it's funny though how our 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 followers already know you so well that they just know how to push buttons on uh -huh. you. They're like, <laughs> they just know. They're just like, hey, watch this shit. Hey, but it doesn't count. I got her the car she gabbed me in. All right, yeah, so true. Fucking to be fair, and also my fucking other car, I was gapping her forever. I got the new car. It's more it's more for comfort, not speed. Okay, and a gap. There has to be a gap in between the cars. There was not a gap. Okay, I was like. I was like right at the fucking bumper, okay, to be fair. And two to one, I beat her once, too. Did it three times. Uh, new proper doink torches, too. We're working on it. Yeah. Uh, how is Be Easy Terp Infused? It's not Terp Infused. Um, he, was, he made a joke one time that he can get people that I can tell you for sure his shit is not Terp Infused. No, definitely not. That shit was smoking. He doesn't grow it. You know what I mean? He sources it and shit, so it's not like we're vouching for his grow abilities, but yeah, I, yeah. Could, I could tell you he wasn't giving us no fucking infused or sprayed packs. Has the mill coping with sticky bud? I don't know. We just use it for the first time. You ever try to work with a breeder or cultivation team? You'd like to create a proper strain? Yeah, we got like a whole hunt going on over the last two and a half years um, with... Jordan and a breeder that I don't even know if we're allowed to talk about yet that we're working with. I don't know. We'll come out with it soon. But, yeah, we've been working on something for fucking over two years now. Um, it just takes a while to really dial shit in and get the right shit. Yeah, we've been working on that since we aired the since we did the Good Pizza podcast. Brent fl Flour Mill in the house. Come to Michigan. We got heavy weight heads, lion order, planted doghouse, north coast. I have uh, I've never heard of any of them, but I'm down to try them if people say they're smoking. Um, let's see. Brent, no fucking, no metal shavings. 
on the flour mill this time. We're fucking good to go. We're about to get the smokeability test going. Looked like a gap to me. Look closer, bro. I got the fucking video proof, okay? I got the video proof. Um, but it, her shit is a little faster, to be fair. I'll it's smaller it and lighter, though, as well. Yeah, it is. So, I mean, there's a lot of you different You feel every factors. bump on the road. It's yeah, a there's a lot of different car. factors that go into that. Yeah. Plus, A, no fridge. Yeah, no no turp fridge in the back or fucking... No, no table, no rolling, no trays no rolling roll, tables, yeah. No massagers, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Okay, so there's... That shit weighs a lot. Uh, heavy heads is so overhyped. That shit's not smoking, bro. Okay. What are we talking about here? Fear of move. Pencil, blah, blah. Be easy got that face. Okay. Megan going off on be easy again. I don't know. I, I must have missed all the shit that went down with be easy. Like I said, guys, unless you come well, and threaten well, our... If you guys threaten our fucking growers' families and shit, then I'll haunt you forever like I'm haunting Greasy. But other than that, dude, if you haven't done nothing to me, I, I don't know what people <laughs> did to other people. I don't know. Don't know. He, he sent us some weed and the shit was smoking. That's all I know. Um, he's going to tune in that car after this live. Already lining it up, bro. I was already tuning it after she fucking beat me in the race uh, right in front of my homie. So Yeah, for all you guys that. that don't know, his dad is like fucking a super mechanic that Fuck, owns his own shop. My dad <laughs> won't even. No, dude, my brother-in-law in L.A. He's going to have the, him dude, do he's, everything. He's turning Mercedes into Brabus and shit in his shop, bro. He's getting shit over 1,000 horsepower. That's what I uh, only Michigan boys I've been hearing about is Mobile J and Mitten Master. How is the grind and roll up and the difference? Um, I think I know what's what. Yeah, he thinks he knows what's what. Um, we'll see. Is that the end of it? Are we at the end? Yeah, that's it. All, All right, right. We're good. We're getting into it, guys. Uh, we'll see you on the fucking other side. Peace. And uh, yeah, it's an exciting one. I'm stoked. <clears throat>